Hello everybody and welcome back to the series where we are pretty much putting the NHL simulation engine to the test here. So today we are going to be picking on the consistency stat for goalies. So I created three players, thing zero, thing one, and thing two because consistency can either be zero, one, or two. So this way we are easily able to see which player is which and once again... Um, for those of you who are maybe stumbling upon this, I guess you can call it a series for the first time. I simulate the first year over and over again. I turn off all these options like CPU trades, injuries, etc. to reduce randomness. So that way we are getting the most straightforward stats. All right. That, that's pretty much the objective here is to try and remove all elements of randomness and see how the stats will be. Because obviously, you know, if... Your star player gets injured, that's going to affect your season. And we don't want that to happen because we're trying to test the stats specifically. So that's why you will see players that are winning, you know, the Calder more than once and stuff like that. Is because we are basically finishing the year. I turned autosave off for this reason. We finish the year, I exit without saving, and then I start up again. So that's that explained. And let's jump into it here. So we are currently going to start with thing number zero and you know it's been not great for the rangers so far three consecutive years without playoffs however thing zero is putting up some decent stats as you can see a 921 save percentage that year and of course i am also ensuring that the goalies play all 82 games of the season because that is important as well we obviously need them to play the same amount of games so we can try to get the most accurate comparison. And once again, thing zero. Going to do all right this year. A 908 save percentage and 26 playoff games. So after, you know, a streak of not making the playoffs, they went to the Stanley Cup Finals in year number four here. So that was a very good run. They were eliminated by the Colorado Avalanche and they took it all the way to seven, but just couldn't quite close the deal. Made the playoffs again here in year number five. And um, I guess I'll mention that because we are doing three different scenarios here, normally it's two where we have, you know, uh, player X and player Y. But this time there's a Z because we have the three different stats. So I'm doing six years per player as opposed to the 10 per player that I normally do. So that's just a little tidbit of information for you there. But I'm sure you will be seeing that as after this year, I'm going to show you thing number one. So yeah, this is the final year for Mr. Zero. And it was a relatively successful year. Made the playoffs, won the Calder and the Vesna. So a couple trophies going home, but no team trophy. They were eliminated by the Penguins in round one, taking seven games. Now I'm going through thing one here just to show you that you know, the abilities are all the same. All of the details are the same. The only thing that is different between this goaltender and the previous is that consistency is now set to one instead of zero. Hence the name thing one. So let's jump into it here. Here's the team. Just showing you guys the chemistry is the same again. I had to put all three of these goalies on the same team. And thing one was giving me some trouble at the end of the year. For some reason, kept getting sent down to the AHL. Even if I made a change to send the other two down to the AHL first. So they did play the seasons, obviously, but for some reason at the very end, they would get sent down. A 941 save percentage and 24 playoff games for Thing 1. And on top of that, a Stanley Cup the very first year. So it's already kind of looking like Thing 1 is doing a lot better than Thing 0 with the consistency stat. It's a sweep in the Stanley Cup Finals too, so that's pretty fire. But then the next year... They finished seventh in the Metro. Not a great season at all. It still amazes me how different the simulation actually can be when you're doing the same year over and over because, you know, they just went from winning the Stanley Cup to not even making the playoffs when nothing really changed. So it's really all boiled down to the simulation engine. It's pretty wild. But yeah, anyway, the Rangers would not make the playoffs again here in year number three. 91 points and 42 wins. This time around, a 9-11 save percentage, 275 GAA, and six shutouts on the year. The Oilers will be taking home the Stanley Cup. And here are the Rangerless playoffs. As you see, the Oilers had a relatively dominant playoff run there. 
This year, the Rangers would finish first in the Metro, 106 points, 51 wins from our goaltender, a 926 and a 221. In the playoffs, 12 games were played, 923 and 248, respectively. The Oilers once again win the Stanley Cup here for year number four. The Vesna, the Jennings, and the Calder all go to thing one. And the Oilers had a not as dominant run in the playoffs this time. They struggled with two series, but they still got there. This year, they finished fourth in the division, which is still good enough for the playoffs. 41 wins from the goaltender with a 916 save percentage. A 942 in the playoffs, but a small sample size, only playing six games this time around. No trophies would go home with thing one. And the Bruins take home the Stanley Cup. The Rangers eliminated by the Leafs in round number one. This year, they finished last in the Metro. They finished eighth with only 35 wins. And then our goalie got 34. I guess maybe he got pulled in one. Still had decent stats overall, though. And yeah, it's not a great year. No trophies going home with Mr. One. And you can see the Ranger list playoffs right here. But now let's hop in to the final player here. Once again, just kind of going through everything to show you that this player is essentially the exact same thing. However, there is one minor difference, and that is what we are attacking here today. The consistency. This time, it is two out of two. So we've done zero. We've done one. Now it is time for the perfect score, two out of two. Just showing you the lines are the same here. Chemistry is all the same. We don't have the problem with Thing 2 being sent down to the AHL, which is nice. This year, they finished fifth in the division good enough for the playoffs 45 wins from thing two with a 917 261 in the playoffs yet a 913 28 games played and they won the stanley cup so much like thing one the playoffs were successful in the first year they win the stanley cup against the edmonton oilers there taking seven games the next year they win the president's trophy they finish first in the entire league with 56 wins we get a 9.29 and a 2.19 from thing number two. In the playoffs, though, only seven games, so a first-round exit with almost a 3 GAA and a 9.09 save percentage. So it wasn't a really great playoff showing, but still a Vesna and a Jennings will go to thing number two. The Penguins got the better of the Rangies in the first round there, taking seven games. Fifth in the division again this year, 43 wins from Thing 2 this time, almost a 920 save percentage. Six playoff games, so another first round exit, and an 881 383. That was pretty shocking to me. We got a Vesna going to Thing number two, but that's about the only thing that he'll be seeing this year. The Flyers beat them in round number one, taking six games. In year number four, they finished second in the league with 107 points, 50 wins on the year. Thing two puts up a 930 and 220, so some very good stats this time around. In the playoffs, 18 games played, 926 and 226, respectively. The Toronto Maple Leafs are Stanley Cup champions for year number four of Thing two. And they would also beat the Rangers in the conference finals there, taking only five games. They finished second in the division this year with 105 points. Thing number two had a 921 and 242 this season. In the playoffs, only five games were played, an 879 and 397. So that's obviously going to weigh on the stats at the end pretty heavily. Still wins a Vesda this year, though. And yeah, the Rangers were destroyed by the Flyers in round number one, this time with only five games. And the final year of the simulation, they actually did not make the playoffs. So thing two was playoffless this year, 916 and 260 in the season and 43 wins. Chicago wins the Stanley Cup. There is no trophies for thing number two in the final year. And as you can see, this is the Rangerless playoffs. And that is where we will end the simulation. So if we have a look here, you can see that the other two goalies definitely have better playoff save percentages. So I guess that could be boiled down to just unlucky Sims. But uh, Thing 1 and Thing 0 had very, very similar stats. Whereas Thing 2 actually put up 30 more wins in the seasons. Had more shutouts, which surprisingly Thing 0 had more shutouts than Thing 1. And on top of that, a better save percentage and goals against average. It was for some reason only in the playoffs that Thing 2 seemed to struggle. But yeah, here's the stats for your viewing pleasure and I suppose analysis if you wanted to 
go that route. And in terms of trophies, I think two did win some more trophies. Um, one and two both got a Stanley Cup. Two was the only simulation to have a President's Trophy. Um, also, four Vesnas for Thing 2, two Jennings, and won the Calder twice. Uh, but Thing 1 actually won the Conn Smythe in the year that they won their Stanley Cup. So, it's um, an interesting one. But 1 and 2 definitely seem to have more success in terms of hardware. Well, anyways, guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Hopefully, this was interesting. I thought it was really cool. And, you know, this one, we actually did see some some difference. You know, we've been doing... Some others recently where there might not have been a really noticeable gap in the stats. But yeah, this one definitely changed that up a little bit here. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. Be sure to leave a like if you did. Um, subscribing won't hurt you. I promise. Actually, I don't promise. I can't really say that. I don't know what it will do to you. But uh, hopefully it's a risk you're willing to take. Anyways, guys, I'll see you soon.